Yo, what's good? It's your girl Valerie Nicole, and yeah, I'm coming to you live, recorded. But anyway, so this morning, as I was um, getting myself together and um, <clears throat> taking care of my dogs, um, the Lord had began to speak to me concerning um, something, and <clears throat> He actually it kind of started with me saying. Um, the song that I just released, uh, The Father's Heart in a different way. So what the place that I wrote the song was a place from being, you know, depressed and just heavy burden and full of fear and anxiety and all that stuff. But God began to just show me um, the song from a resurrection perspective. And... Um, he began to speak to me concerning this Easter resurrection season and that this Easter season is truly something different and um, is for real about the lost and, and, and about um, Jesus reconciling people back to him. And um, God is wanting us to, God is wanting us to um, really dive deep into this whole idea of this great of the great commission and um making disciples for real and he's been dealing with me concerning this since before the year um ended he just kind of stirred my heart and just told me to just make disciples and to share jesus um in his freedom in any way possible no matter what that may um look like i love um what my apostles, uh, my apostles says, he says, anything short of sin, boom, you know, um, so yeah, and I don't think it's by chance that, um, that we've seen across the nation and across the globe where like revival has hit certain places, um, within the nation and I don't I don't think that it's by happenstance <clears throat> and that it happened before this resurrection um season. And I think it was because, you know, God is literally commissioning us as believers. Those of us those of us who've already professed Jesus as our Lord and Savior. He's really commissioning us to um just begin to make disciples and to really engage in the great commission and i think that um it was the revivals and that are still going on was simply to awaken us and there's so many of us that have been sleep and that we've been going to church you know as normal and we've been you know going through the motions of what church is you know we're going to praise and worship you know we're going to hear a message and then we just leave and then it's just that but um God is intentionally awaking and reviving the sleep, the sleeping warrior. And we've been in this, you know, warrior series, you know, even at my home church. And it has really like, <laughs> it's changed, it's changed how we engage the enemy. And it changed, I believe it's, it's even began to change how we engage um, the culture and those around us where we are literally like, trying to we trying to share Jesus for real with whoever is going to listen whoever has an ear to has an ear, whoever has an ear to hear we trying to share with y'all you know as a as our you know this new culture um within our house and he's intentionally stirred and revived the kingdom so that we can really be about our father's business so that we can really um win souls back to him and really make sure that everyone has the opportunity to know that they um, can experience this freedom, this love that is everlasting. Um, so yeah, I'm just saying this so that we can be aware of our assignment this Easter, this resurrection um, time and during Holy Week and all this other stuff is that Yes, we know about the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus, but what if we were able to share that with someone and to really bring light and to shed light on just the importance in the freedom and the joy that is behind that to someone to someone that does it not know um and to be selfless, you know we go you know Easter Sunday, you know we have a tendency to be a time where we're going to dress up and, you know, look our best and, you know, all of this because, 
you know, whatever reason, because that's what, um, that's what is done religious wise, you know, but let's look at from a spiritual point about us, um, redeeming the prodigal son and the prodigal daughters back to the father and to understand that we no longer have to run or, you know, we, we have, you know, believer, um, we have, um, people that are wanting and they know they need something new. They need something fresh, but they don't know what they need. And how awesome would it be if we were the ones to be the light, the city on the hill, the salt of this earth to say, you need Jesus. <laughs> That's the missing link. That is the missing piece. That is the thing that is going to bring all of this together, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to put that on the hearts of um, people to really um, be intentional in this season. So yeah, love y'all. Peace.